Okay, we're starting, we're starting. Okay. I got some housekeeping to do before we actually get into this bitch. <laughs> First of which, apparently, I don't think it's on part one sections, but part two, I did realize that my delay for my PNG is off, so... Uh, uh, it's gonna look a little weird here for those, but you would have already seen them by the time this comes out, but I'm so annoyed, so just know I noticed before those went up. So, there's a couple things. So, I have a little notebook. <laughs> I feel so weird <laughs> saying it, but uh, I wanted to have these sort of written down before I jumped into the next part. Because I have thoughts, and I didn't want them to just disappear before when I hit start recording for this. So, because I don't know if I felt if I was um, too lenient on Heath, especially Book Heath, a little bit. I think they're... I shit on Catherine a lot. I feel like I have. Even though she hasn't really shown up, so there's not much to shit on uh, Limbus Catherine for. I hate Book Catherine. Book Heath is mm, just as bad, really. I stem a lot of his issues from her, but he is just as bad. A lot of his badness comes after her death. He is kind of a shit beforehand, but it's... I always viewed it as lashing out from Catherine's abuse toward him, which was more like mental. Hinley's abuse toward him. Linton's abuse. Eh, Linton. Linton more so the rivalry factor of they just didn't get along. Partly in part of Catherine. Um, I think I did touch on this a little bit of Catherine wants Heath and Linton. And granted, I also thought about this a little bit as well. Catherine wants Linton not necessarily because she loves him. I think, and this isn't something I thought about as much. I think definitely for book Catherine, there was a bit of interest, romantic interest in Linton. And Linton certainly had romantic interest in Catherine. There's not much of their Limbus relationship here to really go by, aside from the conversation of Catherine with Nelly for that short little bit of sort of why Heath left. But that doesn't necessarily ex give a full picture of Catherine and Linden. But Catherine's statements about Linton of marrying for position, for title, puts a more glaring of not necessarily a romantic interest, but a financial interest in Linton. Which I don't think Catherine book side necessarily registered a a wealth aspect to it. It was more of a status aspect. So there was some level of she wanted, she saw more status in Linton than Heath because he is someone who just showed up with her father. He has no name. He doesn't even have a last name, really. He's just Heathcliff. So, and but in totality, their whole relationship is toxic. These are two people who should not be together. And there are plenty of relationships, and I think this is true in some regards, in stories and in real life, where people can love one another, potentially romantically, but still realize they're not the right people for each other. These two are not the right people for each other, I think even on a platonic level, they push each other in bad directions. Now for some crackpot theories. Uh, so I'm 
wondering before we even get into what this chapter might this part of the chapter might be uh i'm wondering if we're gonna be sort of mirror hopping or delving into at the very least what the mirror heath we met was doing or his world his version of his world then it's sort of mentioned that he was his mission was to kill other heaths so i'm wondering how many other heaths he killed so i am wondering if we're going to be in some sort of mirror dip dipping our toes either seeing mirror worlds that this heath impacted or seeing um his mirror world at the bare minimum we're opening Ooh, i can grab these Depending on how much lunacy I get, I might try to pull... Oh, we are not... Straight to dungeon yet. It is 48. Oh, okay, we have a number. There is a number. Okay, that is 14 parts before we even get to the dungeon. <sighs> okay. Great. I think we do need answers, and we weren't, like, set up for it as much. To jump right in. Like we were in Chapter 5 for, hey, we're just gonna jump into the whale mouth now. <laughs> so, there's a bit to get through. I'm afraid. I'm not ready. Can't deploy? Cannot deploy. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Okay, well that's information. Wait, this, 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 this. this will work. No, it won't. I'm afraid. We gotta run. Oh, this is much more detailed on those pod things. like a distorted Heath. It has the body bag. Heath the heartbroken distortion. That's not the one we just killed, is it? I see distorted Heathcliff before me. He mauls, rips, and tears into everything before him. With his mournful howls, his tinge with so much pain it hurts even me to listen. <laughs> Oh no, this is our Heathcliff. Oh no, it's our Heathcliff. Oh, Heath, no. He's killing everyone, the researchers, the dead rabbits, even people trapped in the glass pods. If we were to get in his way, yes, executive manager, he will not hesitate to attack us as well. This will be a difficult battle for everyone. And it will leave nothing but deep gashes in our hearts. But, even so, we have to bring him back. The clock turns. Technically, he asked us to. So I don't feel guilty. He asked us to smack him <laughs> if he were to go crazy. <laughs> so, we're, I'm just doing what he asked. Can anyone? You're targeting Yisong, but Yisong also can't do anything. Destroy and severable. The chains. Okay. Well, we're gonna start figuring some shit out. Sadly. Okay, these can all be dealt with. I'm gonna do these two. Game for charge, game for charge, game. Okay. Do these two for um, working on breaking the chain part. Use on can. Do anything else so. though. 
I love the scenery, by the way. Even though it was so little. The bleed's nice though. Faust, please! Please! That's gonna freaking corrode. Okay, that was 72. Has 130 left. I think I might reset. What do we know? Chains are gloom lust. And body is envy gloom. I'm gonna reset. I think a big thing is going to be breaking the chain first. <sighs> like severing the tie to the body bag. Everything's unopposed. Why? Oh, yeah, because they're attacking people that can't clash. Bygone days, that's gonna do sinking. What's the wrong day? Pursuance is still off. <laughs> Done, please. Now it's just going to be, my skills aren't good enough. They are all 45 now. Well, they will be once I swap in the, the borrowed parkour Madu. And it could be I need better passes. It could need I need to defend when I'm attacking. I don't know. If you're giving me one where I can't ha attack half of, or clash with half the moves, though, then I'm not uh, doing it, game. We've been through this. So I think I should hit with Medu here. Clash. Fast from Clash.
Because Ishii and Meru, those are the final skills, so they'll do a good chunk of damage, I think. That's some good damage on body as well from you, son. Oh, that's very nice, Meru. Is it basically whoever gets hit by that has no shot? feels like whoever gets hit by that red is just screwed He's doing like ever so mildly better. <laughs> Alice is still struggling a little bit. Not sure why the red move went off on me. She's there. Okay, now we're in the hand is all the things. My best shot is breaking. K Corp can also hopefully get an ample. If you survive this onslaught. No, not. But I think we're breaking the chain. Pui Page, Totere Potrin Gonakum, Jumio and Hambang yourself. Kurisa, Karuni and this is still in a much better spot than I was before. Can I do a pursuance? I can do a pursuance. It's 25% chance to corrode, but fuck it. We're doing it. That's one's favorite, so Meru take that one. <sighs> Just still in such a better <laughs> condition than that prior round where I broke the chain, so I think this is doable. 
Like sanity is at a better spot. Health is a mainly low for K Corp. Ishii's on a little shaky, but. Okay, Hong Lu. <laughs> uh, game one K for Vampel next turn. Okay, no, that that's not gonna do good. Okay, let's do that because you're favored. Favored, favored, dominating. That's saying hopeless. What about you, dominating? <gasps> okay, yeah, we're doing... We're hitting damage now? I think we got it. Okay, good. We're getting some sanity back on K Core Herb. Mary's getting a little beat. But it's so fine. Yoga Momnen Saumer, Kidea Gesso. I'm saying struggle, which has me worried. Uh, you don't like everything now. It's everything dominating, so I don't know if I want to do it on that. Could I take you? I think I'll take you. Who's currently there? Okay, someone's already favored on it. Okay, Meta was favored. Ishii is also favored. This should be fine. And Faust going off, hopefully, will also heal the SP that is low. The sanity that's low right now. Which I have now officially learned the miracle of Faust's fluid stack, and I freaking need it. <laughs> Healing health Moving and Moving. SP in Moving. one Moving. move. How has this eluded me for so long? Okay. I think. I have Heath. Things could still, like, hit a freaking left turn. Like a hard turn. But I think this is in a much better place than it was. the other place that it was involved at least one sinner down <laughs> we have everyone alive right now <laughs> <laughs> okay now she got a stagger okay. so yeah you're not too far from your stagger Neutral, struggling. Would be better.
가져 출할게요. I'm going to use this one that much. 항상 지켜보고 있었지. But I need two more. <gasps> I need two more. That was beautiful. I think dagger's gonna hit before they clash. At least the back two. Thank God Rio didn't stagger though. I want her damage next turn. And there's the stagger. Thank you, Faust. Uh, Heathcliff heartbroken is shaking and stumbling. What is that fluid dripping, dribbling from his mouth? Is it blood or tears of sorrow? This must be our chance to convey something to Heathcliff. Some advantage, who should I go with? Well, Yisong has advantage. Very high as well. But it's the same as high, so... Yay! I approach Heathcliff with Yisong by my side. Heathcliff? I carefully try talking to him, but he shrinks back as though he's afraid of something. Maybe my voice can't reach him. I ask Yi Song to relay my words to Heathcliff. I can't empathize with everything you've gone through. I haven't the experience. But I do know that these actions won't do anything but won't do anything to lessen your pain. Maybe the words had an effect on him. Heathcliff the heartbroken rises and growls lightly as though something inside hurts. I don't know if this helped him. Or if all we did was pour salt on his wound. All we did was pouring salt on his wounds. I think it should just be pour salt on his wounds, but... Uh, he's getting back to his feet. I'm certain that this is far from over. He clipped the heartbroken gains too fragile. Gains one by <laughs> next turn. <laughs> Oh good, Ryoshi's high high damage move is up. It's not everyone's finals, but it's gonna do <laughs> enough to probably break the body. Body broken. All to the main health bar. Two eighty-three, Chef Rio. I love you. I need to use you more. 그러니까 네일리한테 들킨다면 이번에야말로 정말 초절꾼 밤을 맞을지도 몰라. So she catches us red-handed. Nelly might give us the slooper sleepy smack. 그리고 지금쯤이면 아마 제 문도 걸어 잠궜을 걸. Besides, the front gate has got to be closed and locked by now. 여기는 this is. Now, ready? Ready for what? My Heathcliff, didn't I tell you to pay attention when I'm speaking? Ready to race from the top of that hill to the gardens. I'll win this time, I'm sure of it. But Kathy, you don't have your shoes. Hey, I suppose Nelly will have to lecture me then. Doesn't matter though. Oh, see that magnificent house over there? Why don't we head over there and peek through its windows? I want to see who lives in such a big house. <laughs> Linton. <sighs> Kathy, we can't. Why not? Because. If we go there now, they'll spot us. 
and stick their monstrously large hounds on us. One of them will bite your ankle. You won't scream, but you'll bleed a lot, enough to keep your wound bandaged for several weeks. I regretted it day and night that it should have been me who was mauled in your place. And? The people in that house will take you inside to dress your wounds. And there, you'll meet Linton. How do you feel about that? Everyone was entranced the moment they saw you. Of course they were, because you are the most beautiful person in the world. Uh, I wish this PNG had eyes that could roll. <sighs> okay. But Heathcliff, you left me behind in that manner. My heart sank to its deepest steps, then instead of hitting rock bottom, it kept sinking. Now that I think about it, I felt wretched, miserable. I was angry that you hurt your ankles. I hated that I was, wasn't a part of that posh picture with you, you and the others. But more than anything, I felt that we could no longer be together. Ever again. That incident really drew Hinley's ire, so he ordered Nellie to completely neglect like, your care. I stayed at the manor for five weeks, he grew closer to Linton and his little sister Isabel. The sister is around! She exists! Who the frick is this brother then, Linton? You didn't have a brother! Unless he died in the book. And so just, like, a brother who lived and died completely out of the picture, almost. It was the stay which eventually became the reason you denied me for the first time. My life until this moment, they were the happiest times of my life. It was all I ever wanted. But I must leave now, because this is but a diary of mine. You can't change the past. I, I still cherish this day. The day I could run so freely across the gardens by your side. I did too, Heathcliff. That is why I wrote my diary, so that I will hold these memories to eternity's end. My most precious memories. Are you okay, Heathcliff? How are you feeling? Like shite. And miserable. These bodies, your wounds. I did that, didn't I? Heathcliff muttered, looking around at the mutilated, mauled corpses of the researchers. Strange. I thought if I went wild, smashed everything to pieces, the weight of my heart would be lifted. But no, not this time. Not at all. This. This feels awful. How am I any different from that prick Henley? I'm kinda glad that Heath is seeing this, because older Heath is more like Henley than I think even old Heath wants to admit. Because Henley is spiteful, vindictive, and abusive. And I think Heath takes all that and does it as well. Full of blind hatred against everything in front of me, this desiring nothing but destruction. But the worst thing is that I wanted to be like that forever. Because I couldn't bear to simply sit there and do nothing. No, you're not like him. Because you came back. This time, sure, but what if it happens again? Who's to say that there won't be a next time? Maybe Henley, that prick, was right. I'm unsalvageable. Did I change? No, I deluded myself into believing that I did, like the dullard I am. This is what I do, what I am. 
A destroyer who brings ruin to everything until there isn't anything left to pulverize. If it happens again, I can't guarantee that I'll succeed, but I will try again. Yeah, Oi, clock it. You wouldn't know this, but... Well, everyone but you would know. When I'm starting to lose my mind, when I'm completely blinded and deafened, when I feel my sense of self, my very being slowly fading away into the darkness, I hear that faint noise. That damn noise of a clock. It opens my eyes, drags me back to reality. Well, that's because I'm your manager. Bringing you back to your past is what I do. Things became a lot clearer when I said that out loud. The sound of my clock awakens them, steers them back to their past. I don't really know what their paths really are, or how we go about following them, but... We're forging on anyway. Like feeling our way through a dark maze, learning its shape with every step we take. It's not even the fun, I know, part. And I am tearing up from that <laughs> bullshit. Oh no, oh, that, I don't know why. <laughs> But that, that, okay, that hit, that hit good. Both for he, like, there's a general sense about it, but it's, it's like, for he, for Dante, Dante has been questioning themselves on what their role in this is as a manager, and it's just, Dante sort of figuring that out with hey i'm here to help you all on your path not like the golden balls are the goal but there's obviously something that these sinners need to see through and they need to get through oh i'm wiping my eyes a little bit oh but that hit so strong that I'm like shook what I also like about that even in itself of Dante saying those words to Heath Book Heath also had just and even Limbus Heath we've been seen has just had abuse at every angle so his only anchor to really stay at Wuthering Heights for the most part was Catherine like, Nellie was nice to him, but she also was ordered to neglect care for him. So, if any kindness she gave, it was in small crumbs. And even still, it's not... I don't think he hates Nellie, but it's also not the person he loved. It wasn't his anchor. It wasn't um, his focus. So, basically, Catherine's word made him kind of lose that. But for the most part, at least at Wuthering Heights, it seems like no one was truly there for him to sort of bring him back, especially when Catherine starts to drift from him. So having Dante basically say, I don't know if I'll succeed, but I'm going to try probably it's for Heath of someone's gonna try and it's not even just necessarily Dante who's gonna try to bring him back it's going to be all the sinners trying to help bring him back so he is not in that same position of being alone that he was 